Welcome to PDMA Corporation, home of the MC Emacs. I'd like to thank you for joining us as we continue along in our module series discussing the benefits of the MC Emacs using the six fault zone approach to analyzing your electric motors. Today, specifically, we're going to focus on the power quality fault zone. But before we get going, let's talk about PDMA Corporation. We manufacture the Emacs for dynamic testing, the MCE for static testing, and we've combined both dynamic and static testing capabilities into one highly accurate field portable technology called the MCE Max. Now what's facing our country today, or really globally, what's facing the global uh, economy today? You have a consumer who is consuming less, thus manufacturers are selling less, but you still have to maintain your profitability. How do you do that? Well, one of the ways you can do that is reducing your maintenance costs, reducing your maintenance budget. And you do that making sure that the electric motors or your assets uh, are running in a, the most efficient uh, a manner as they possibly can. They're running as long as they're designed to run, maybe even longer. And that they're consuming just the right amount of energy. They're not wasting electrical energy causing excessive cur uh, utility bills to be paid off monthly. We use this, or we, we basically are able to determine these problems using the six fault zone approach in the MCE Max technology. So this technology can help you reduce those costs, increase your profit margin, and make your company more profitable. Now we mentioned the six fault zone approach, and those six fault zones are power quality, power circuit, insulation, rotor, air gap, and stator. And today specifically, as we mentioned, we're going to focus on our power quality fault zone. So some of the problems in the power quality fault zone. Well, you could have voltage or current imbalance. A 1 to 5 percent voltage imbalance means that you have to, according to NEMA, MG standards, you need to derate that motor. If you run it in its and with a voltage imbalance, you essentially will be increasing the amount of heat that that motor runs under, and you could potentially be degrading the insulation. Uh, typically, a 1% voltage imbalance results in anywhere from a 7 to 10% current imbalance. It just creates excess heat. We also monitor any harmonics. We go out to the 50th harmonic with the Emax technology. And we're looking for any type of events on the voltage or current sine wave. These can come from nonlinear loads such as lights, electronics, variable frequency drives. And we use five, IEEE 519 as a standard to essentially establish our thresholds for observe and caution and severe lim limits. We also look at the crest factor, which detects spikes on the current or voltage waveform. These voltage spikes may not influence RMS values for voltage or current, so it's important that we monitor the crest factor. Those spikes could be damaging to the insulation system. And we also look at over and under voltage conditions, both of which can result in excess current, excess heat, and thus degrading the insulation over time. If you remember in our insulation fault zone, each insulation system for a specific motor may have a specific uh, rating, class B, class F, class H, uh, and then those are designed to withstand up to specific temperatures based on what classification that insulation is. So once you go above it, you lose some of that insulating capability. Now let's look at what the Emacs can show us in our power quality. Here's our results page. And what do we look at? Well, we're looking at fundamental voltage, phase to phase, total, incorporating all the harmonics in the system, crest factor as we mentioned, which is determining spikes, and then the total harmonic distortion content on that sine wave. And we also look at phase to neutral. Next, we look at current each phase of current, total, incorporating all the distortion content, harmonic content, 
the crest factor for that current sine wave, and the total harmonic distortion. As you can see here, there are no reds, so everything is in good healthy condition. We also look at percent imbalance, and we look at our percent full load amps. Here's our power section, most importantly our power factor, KVA, kilovolt amps, apparent, reactive, and kilowatts. We also look at our efficiency. Our efficiency has been rated plus or minus 1% within the normal operating range at an Oregon State University. And this, in our opinion, it's an excellent trending tool. Monitor efficiency, it's something that we use as well in our energy cost analysis module where we can determine if we change the efficiency of an asset. If, say, we increase it, are we really going to save the, the money by increasing the efficiency, by lowering our electrical costs? Well, what PDMA uses is a measure to estimated approach versus nameplate to nameplate. And I encourage you to look at our energy cost analysis module to find out more information about that. And we look at our impedance measurements here, which is a good indication of potential state or anomalies that may be occurring. And once again, this is our time our waveform here. And we can see here harmonic distortion content. It's affecting uh, both the, the current waveform and garbage in equals heat equals lost dollars. And lastly here, we monitor out to the 50th harmonic. So every harmonic and the amplitude of that harmonic all the way out to 50. I'd like to thank you for your time. If you have any further questions on the power quality or anything about MC Emacs, please contact PDMA Corporation for more information. You can reach us at 813-621-6463, extension 118, or send us an email at pdma at pdma.com.